T0 press is used to crimp the samples for DSC instrument. Um, it comes with a set of dies for lower part and for the top part. As you can see, dies are color coded and your boxes with pens and leads will be color coded too. So practically there are two types of pens you're going to use. Uh, you have one type of pen which is called T0 pen which can be used with either blue dye or black dye, blue and black. And then you have two leads, one which we call T0 hermetic leads, which will be used for, with blue upper dye. And this one is T0 lead, which will be used with any of those. Um, to make it a bit more clear, I will show you how to create uh, a reference pen. So say you would like to make a reference pen to run with, with T0 hermetic leads. The way you do it is you get a pen You get a lead which you put on your pen like that. Upper die gets installed into upper position just like that by magnetic coupling. Bottom die goes in like that. Now let's do it again. Sorry, that was bad take. Empty pen goes in. Leads on the top. and you get a perfect reference pen. Now, hermetic pens are used for samples which are liquids, gels, paste, so that you do not squeeze your sample out of the pen when you crimp it. When you work with polymers, you will more often use standard T0 lead. Now we're going to make uh, a reference T0 pen. Lead goes in. Now the difference between those two upper dies is one is flat and another one has concave tip. The one with concave tip is used when you run pieces of polymers so that you form a little dome on the top of it. 
So in this particular case, I'm going to use flat one. I remove the one which we used there before. Install this one. This one goes in. This is your reference pen with standard T0 lead. To prepare sample, what you do, you get your T0 pen, you put it into the balance, tear pen, Insert your sample, weight in the balance. Uh, you have to rec record the weight of the sample, and then you can crimp it. In this case, we're going to use another type of die. Put lid on. Here's your pen. The main point is that we would like the bottom to be flat, but you can have something sticking out at the top. Typical sample size for DSC is between 5 to 15 milligrams. <laughs> 